Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in the United States. That is why beginning at age 50, it is recommended that everyone get a colonoscopy. That's not something most of us look forward to, but some products claim they detect colon cancer with a simple test from the comfort of home. KSFY health reporter Tess Hedra takes a closer look at these tests with doctors to test their effectiveness. We do want to warn you, a portion of this report might be tough to watch. Introducing Colaguard. Chances are you've probably seen this commercial. I'm here for an important reason, colon cancer screening. Analyzing both the blood and altered DNA in your stool, Colaguard, a product of exact sciences, claims to find cancer and precancer in a stool sample you take at home. It's not meant to replace colonoscopies. Colonoscopy is always the preferred way to go at this. But a Vera gastroenterologist, Dr. Stephen Condren, says Coligard is just one more way to get patients screened. So trying to get these things off <clears throat> is interrupting the cancer sequence. So I consider colonoscopy cancer prevention as well as detection. Whereas you look at a lot of these other tests that people are doing, like the Fit Kits, or Cologuard, and those are cancer detection. And I think if you can interrupt the sequence prior to becoming cancerous, you're ahead of the game. Kevin Conroy, president and CEO of Exact Sciences, says Cologuard's goal is to get more patients screened. We know breast cancer screening, about 80% compliance. Cervical cancer screening, about 80% compliance. Colon cancer screening, only about 50% compliance. There's a huge difference there, and the difference is that it's really hard for some physicians to get their patients to actually get screened. And as a company, Exact Sciences is committed to helping the physician make it a lot easier on getting the patient screened. And this procedure takes about 20 minutes. Dr. Karen Simon with Ventura County Gastroenterology in California was an investigator for Cologuard's clinical study. She explains what happens if the test comes back positive. That means it's very likely that something abnormal is being shed in the stool and that needs to be further investigated. So it is recommended that those patients will follow up with a colonoscopy. And if it finds an abnormality or indicates that there's very likely an abnormality for this patient, it's going to probably be that much more easy to convince that patient to undergo a colonoscopy. This little thing that you're seeing right here is blends in very effectively with the underlying colonic tissue and these things can these small things can be overlooked and you say well go ahead and go 10 years this thing isn't a cancer but it could potentially turn into one in five or seven ten years we think dr condren strongly believes colonoscopies are the gold standard in colorectal screening on this part of the colon, the evolving thinking is these things do have cancerous potential down the road, so we want to get that removed. And certainly doing a test like fecal immunohistochemical testing or the Cologuard would not have found this. The only way we would have ever picked this polyp up is to directly look for it. And it, even at that, it's hard to see. Everybody has this idea that this is a scary process. It's not. You can see she slept right through it. As long as you're doing it with somebody who does a lot of them and they're, you know, they're cared for in the right way, an incredibly safe procedure. But if a patient is hesitant, my, I have no problem considering a DNA-based test like Cologuard. Colon cancer screening that's as easy as get, go, gone. Or fecal immunohistochemical testing, virtual colonoscopy, even a barium enema. Uh, I'll, I, I don't prefer those tests, but I certainly would take that over the patient saying, I'm just going to wait for there to become a problem. Dr. Condren says any screening is better than no screening. However, color guard like you see here is only recommended for those with average risk. If you have family history of colon cancer, you are considered high risk. So color guard would not be for you. Brian. I test. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Again, age 50 is when you're supposed to get your first colonoscopy and every 10 years thereafter based on your results. But if you have a primary relative like mom, dad, brother or sister who was diagnosed with colon cancer before the age of 50, it's recommended you have your first colonoscopy 10 years before their diagnosis. So under that formula, if your dad was 45 when he was diagnosed, mm -hmm. you should get your first colonoscopy at mm -hmm. age 35.